I saw a man upon the stair. I looked again. He wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. My gosh, I wish he'd go away. That old poem is, in essence, the synopsis of how leaders of the Republican and Democratic Party feel about the race to succeed Senator Olympia Snow, the three-term Republican who's retiring. Although there are six Republicans and four Democrats vying for nomination to succeed Senator Snow, the favorite in the race and the one everyone talks to is the man who isn't there, former Governor Angus King, twice elected as an independent and now running on a third party line. That's going to be one of the most fascinating races, and you're going to hear a lot about it when the results of the main primary come in Tuesday night. In addition, there are contests in Nevada, as well as North Dakota and Virginia. In Nevada, the big question is, will Senator Harry Reid's political machine be able to deliver the state's other Senate seat to his colleague, Congresswoman Shelley Berkeley, and unseat appointed Senator Dean Heller, a Republican? In North Dakota, Congressman Rick Berg is the favorite over past Senate candidate Dwayne Sand. And that's one of the races Republicans are counting on in the pickup column to give them the majority they so desperately want this year. And finally, in Virginia, it appears as though former Senator George Allen will get the second chance he wants to run for the Senate seat he narrowly lost six years ago and face an old rival, former Governor Tim Kaine. Uh, Mr. Allen has three primary opponents, but it looks now as though he may well live up to Ronald Reagan's old adage that there are second acts in politics. It's an interesting evening Tuesday and a fascinating election year in 2012.